This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, we are ready to analyze the biggest intimate stories. And we have a very interesting guest for you. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchor to me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Hi. Hi. How are you guys doing? Well, We're chilled. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys miss me? Yesterday? We've been chilling. We've been. We've been. My blood has frozen. Chilling. <laughs> Do you guys miss me? Literally. Yesterday? Where did you go? Oh, yes. I was, I'm about to say where he went, so should I? <laughs> no. <laughs> How was it when you went to? Uh, Bloody. <laughs> Bloody. 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 That's a problem. Mm, okay, moving on real quick. Well, before we start analyzing yeah. Bloody okay. things. <laughs> Um, Tamar Braston's boyfriend, David Adefeso, has reportedly filed a domestic violence restraining order against her. According to TMZ, he asked for protection against the actress and television personality. However, a source told the blast that he was the aggressor as the two got into a heated fight in a car as she was on her way to a mental health facility. This comes as a surprise to many um, because in early August, she thanked her boyfriend for saving her life after she tried to commit suicide in July. Mm. That's the thing with um, abusive people, they tend to be very manipulative and mm. then after they perpetrate their abuse, right, they still come out and be like, they, they'll be the first to go on their knees and apologize and, and um, say how sorry they are, how they won't do it again. Are you already believing the source and not the, the person no, that filed? No, who are you filed? believing? Because this goes for Yeah, because parties. I'm wondering now, who are what we believing? No, no, because I'm, the person I'm, that has I'm, filed I'm, for restraining order is the guy. Right. Is David that's filed for restraining no, order? No, yeah, I'm getting there. So mm -hmm. the reason why I started that way okay. is because of the long epistle she wrote right. to thank him and right. how good he is and all so that. So you think, you think he wrote that source. himself? No. No, she's okay. saying that... Um, no, I'm called? getting what you're saying. I'm just trying the to... The victim here yeah. is the guy. He's pretty the guy. Much, in but the first story. Yes, that's what he's saying. Ah. Yes, and okay. for all that thank you, thank you, she's she is it's basically just it's just packaging, man, like she's yeah. actually the oh. yeah, she's just manipulate you and make right. you feel like they won't do it again. That's uh, like, but she's the one who tried to commit suicide. But then again, she's the one that's fine. Someone's but, finding a um and then uh, again she's the one so and I, then I, again I, I, I'm feeling some type of word already. <laughs> like and then now. again, nice. she's the one who took extreme um more than enough prescription pills and drank a lot of alcohol uh -huh. so committing suicide we know that depression comes after drug intake and all of that so right. yeah so i mean just times. because you you try wow. and commit suicide does not mean that you are the victim in, yeah. in in hmm. in terms of abuse you, um, could, you could be the manipulative yeah you could be the well. instigator and mm. there's still be the person that um decides to take because you take your life doesn't automatically mean make you're you the hero victim. or yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, I get that. It is, I'm not going to lie, it threw me off a bit when you yeah. saw that perspective because for me, I, I felt like she probably was the victim. But mm -hmm. if you put it that way, it also makes sense that both of them could actually be that. A lot of the times with relationships um, that have gone this far, to me or personally, both of them are toxic as far as I'm concerned. Both of them... There is no way that they... I don't think the story has a boy and a hero or like it's that clear cut. I think both of them have, have allowed an environment that's, quite, that's um, not necessarily the healthiest. So if somebody is committing suicide and we fo focus on our energy on that and we are trying to get help for her and then we are seeing that the same person is being restrained. Like it's quite mad for you to say you want somebody to stay away from mm. you because and you have been a victim of domestic opinion, violence. Like, people have also said... Oh, I mean, I've, I've kind of seen this play out that... So, yes, we know the person has mental health issues, has depression issues, but then when manipulation enters it, yeah. and you know that this is my situation, I'm supposed to be seen as vulnerable in the society, then you begin to use that condition of yours mm. to manipulate other people. Mm. That happens yeah. as well. So, like you said, I, I feel like both of them, I mean, I totally agree with you, so I won't start repeating all you have said. They are both toxic for each other, and I hope that they find, get help soon. Mm. And and the only reason I'm not going to agree with Ife completely, though, is because of the family member's statement when the the suicide happened so mm -hmm. i still feel in my gut that the guy, the guy is the um, victim and it is the same the guy victim i mean sorry the guy is the perpetrator okay. because Trust the same me. the same thing that if is saying that she used her words and ever and whatever to kind of cover her tracks mm -hmm. i feel like we could say the same thing for the man that he is filing 
for a restraining order for domestic violence to look innocent when mm. the, when Trust truly me. he's the when one perpetrating it because they mentioned that he was they were very surprised about how he reacted when um when he denied that they had had any um, altercations and everything was fine just before she committed suicide and then the family members came to reveal that no you guys were not fine you were fighting and all that type of stuff so trust me mm. when people are abusive right they make it look like you gave them the reason to be abusive regardless of what you have done yeah. does it give anyone the right to lay a hand on you especially in a relationship do you understand it doesn't no. so so you strongly feel that the guy is a victim no I'm in just terms saying, of domestic abuse in terms of domestic mm -hmm. abuse mm -hmm. now does it mean that she's the not the person, one that perpetrated yeah, the reason mean, why yeah but when she's yeah. going around to tell her friends the story or her family members the story she say ah do you know what i did i caught him with three women i caught him with this i caught and then she's giving mm. different stories okay. to make him look we'll like a that, bad that, guy to me that, that to me i honestly i'll take that i'll take the fact that it is possible that tamara actually is the instigator of everything ill but she's the one no, no, the guy is the is the See, instigator. The, of them are wait, 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 wait. Right the guy <laughs> is the one who is the instigator of everything ill. Like the guy is actually the toxic whatever, but she's the one who hits him first in terms of domestic yeah. violence. That's possible. I can, starts, I can, in terms of physical abuse. Yes. Mm. So he's the emotional abuser and, and she's, she's the physical, physical abuser. abuser. It's okay. We have a We've written a script. Guys. Hallelujah. <laughs> who is right? Well, moving <laughs> on right really quick story. to the next story. <laughs> Keeping up with the Kardashians is coming to an end. As the season says to premiere its final season in the year 2021, the families have put out a joint statement to their fans. The statement read, and I quote, After what will be 14 years, 20 seasons, hundreds of episodes, and several spin-off shows, we have decided as a family to end this very special journey. We are beyond grateful to all of you who, who have watched us for all these years um, through the good times the bad times the happiness the tears and the many relationships and children will forever cherish the wonderful memories and countless people we have met along the way end of quote the statement was signed by chris jenner courtney kim chloe rob kardashian kendall kylie jenner and scott disick for those of us who don't watch KKW, right? Yeah, T-T-Y-X-D-H-L-M-N-O-P-Q. Uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For those of us who don't watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians, right? Um, I would say keep it um, good readings, the bad rubbish. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yes, for those of us okay, who don't watch it. Okay, I don't watch it. Um, but I feel like I can acknowledge the hard work and the vulnerability that they've put into that show. And that it, it, still, Big Brother. it still yes. feels some tap away for me that is coming to an end because I feel like this, this decision was definitely made from a very emotional place. Um, they've had their dramas that have come online into the news that have made people wonder and say, okay, what is going on? Where we had was it? Was it Courtney now? Or I don't know. That was crying about how she doesn't want to be part of the show she anymore. The show. She left the show, and we've seen them break down and saying, "Okay, this is too much for us." But everyone says it's the business. You're enjoying the fame, so enjoy what comes with it anyway. So this is show coming now. I think um, I can understand why they want to leave their lives behind yeah, the camera now. Yeah, because they got too now, toxic, and, and they're, yeah. they're they're women now with kids, and life is becoming more serious. I think you can get carried away when you're younger, mm. and you know she she had the sex tape. Like look at the history of things. She had the sex tape and then the i don't feel like the toxicity was really affecting anything now you have lives involved like mm. children Jordan involved. Woods as well it's, uh, for me it's something to acknowledge i know happened. that this this generation we we encourage this type of stuff and they've milked it and there's the business side and there's the hard work to it but it's nothing for me to say well done for um that show really perpetrated a lot of ills in the society they hmm. normalize Ohala. quite a lot of things and the, my values just don't align with that same thing I always say with, with Chloe and with Kylie. I'll give her props. Of course, you have, me that I'm talking with all my values. I'm, not, I'm a billionaire. So, yeah, well done <laughs> that you are making your money and stuff. But I still don't like what these people stand for. There's so many ways to make money. But I'm not going to acknowledge and, you know, applaud you for stuff that I don't think necessarily um, is supposed to be encouraging the society. They encourage and normalize awful behavior as far as I'm concerned. And I like that you wrote up Big Brother because this for me was on steroids in comparison to Big Brother. Mm. But they were a family. And I think that the reason why, this is me speculating as well, I think that the reason why they did that was because it was beginning to tear their family apart. So if you see what, um, how um, the relationship between the three older girls, so Kim Kardashian, Chloe, and Courtney, was beginning to fall apart, especially even in real life. So before, it was like, 
yeah, there was the reality show, but there was also the true reality, and they were united, which is what I know they used to draw people in. You can call them whatever it was. These guys were a family, and you were beginning to see that there was a rift coming to play mm -hmm. because of how toxic the thing had been building. Well. Yeah, so I, I feel like maybe that's what made them make that decision that if I'm going to keep this family together, then you're not going to have to do this show because once one person starts, one leg starts to fall off the table it can't really stand but yeah. mm -hmm. kudos to them i'm I, sure I would, they'll yeah. be fine i mean that's where i'm just sitting on kudos to them because 20 years is a long time a very to long do time. this and they have entertained a lot of people those who find their content interesting so is it um, up to 20 for think yeah 20 years 20 years 14 years 14, 14, years. 14 years. years 20 M -M 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 -M. oh okay so 14 years yeah. is a big deal as well is still so it's lot. still a long time and shout out to them for um, doing that and um, we'll, we'll it's like to see even up to 21 to Exactly. True. <laughs> she, I would like to see how that goes. Yeah, she's yeah. 21 now. She's now, 21, yeah, yeah. So you sure could have been. Yeah, when she was yeah. one years old, yeah. Mm -hmm. She started 14 years ago. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Okay, let's go on a very quick break. And when we come back, we'll have more.